Alright, Kakarot, we've battled across many generations, tons of different timelines, but I never had the chance to fight you at Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> Big mistake, Vegeta. We may be at the same transformation level, but I have something that you don't. A wife that actually makes home-cooked meals instead of ordering McDonald's every damn night? Just because my hairline looks like that doesn't mean that I'm sponsored. Oh, yes, I know, Kakarot. Don't rub it in. Oh, damn. Sucks to suck. But no, I just bought myself a new stand on Craigslist. Check this shit out. It isn't over yet. <laughs> oh, and here I was a bit worried. <laughs> No matter. Now witness my own stand, Kakarot. Oh, I'm swollen. He's got new techniques. Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 custom innovative transformation mods. My goodness, we have one of the coolest, most creative transformation skills ever created in this game. It's got some sick new animations, new models, and everything. I am very excited. So I want to say a big massive gargantu shout out to the homie Legendary Aguang, my boy out here. He created this new Goku, Xeno Goku. So I've covered a bunch of Xeno Gokus in the past, but this one's unique and special because it basically has two transformations. Obviously, the standard Super Saiyan 4 one, but this one that comes after is a little bit different. So based on the actual Dragon Ball Heroes anime where Goku and Vegeta achieve Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4, they actually absorb the energy and power of Super Saiyan God Key, as well as Pan. <laughs> so uh, this basically creates Goku, Super Saiyan Blue, right behind Goku, Zeno, and heals him up and transforms him. It's gonna be sick. Y'all are gonna love this. So before we get into it, do me a massive gargantuan favor and smash that like button. That would be so freaking amazing. And I would truly, really appreciate it. Plus shows that you guys wanna see more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 content here on the channel as well as continuation of the mod series and sick stuff like this. Super Saiyan 4 is definitely be getting a lot of love with mods recently from the expanded pack that we got yesterday. So definitely go check that one out too. So what we got working with us for the skills. So I try to make it pretty basic and use skills that we actually got from the expanded pack yesterday because they look really cool and I want to put them on Goku just to see how they look. So we got a power pull combo, just a standard. Uh, I rarely use that, and plus it uses his power pull that he actually wears, so it's kind of cool. Uh, we have the Shining Kamehameha, Lightning Hammer, Finish Sign, Dragon Flame Strike, the ultimate one, which I believe it does change during transformations. We have the Justice Spring Shot and the transformation with the Super Soul. I won't use my full power yet, so we're gonna try him out, and I'll show you how this works on a Cac or another character and show you that it kind of glitches out and doesn't really work but you know i know people are gonna ask me like oh what if you put this on another character so uh we'll definitely show that too so yeah one thing about this mod is the textures and just the overall look of it he's very very shiny looking it's uh definitely different from the usual uh, you know, Xenoverse 2 kind of dipped in oil look. I mean, it still kind of has that dipped in oil look, but it's just like a little bit more different. Like, I don't know if it's the shaders or whatever that I'm using uh, that kind of makes it look a lot different and brings out the uh, design of it. But I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool. So uh, the base version of this, you know, Goku is obviously going to be base Goku. Uh, it's not really needed to be different at all. It's just, you know, your standard stuff there. But I did want to show the transformations and the actual skills and everything so let's go ahead and get into the very first one which is ultimate one first it starts off as a normal ultimate not ultimate but it's you know super kamehameha uh you know the usual stuff going on there but if we do actually transform here look at this it uses the super saiyan blue evolution animation which i like it's different um shout outs to these auras these nuts for the sick amazing super saiyan 4 aura this is probably 
I would have to say this is probably my favorite Super Saiyan 4 aura, just the way uh, it looks, because it has the Kakarot kind of style. It's got a lot of electricity emanating off of it. It looks really nice, bro. It's All right, guys, so real quick, I'm just going to interrupt this part. I want to show you guys something pretty cool that I just found out. So after transforming, if you revert back, look at this. He loses his shirt completely. So it's not like in Dragon Ball GT where Vegeta powers down and he gets his clothes. He literally gets his clothes back. I've never seen something like that before. Like that great logic, right? But yeah, really, really cool stuff. Um, after he transforms, if you revert back, he does uh, lose his shirt. And actually, it's, it maintains that feature. So, really nice detail there. That's pretty cool. It's fancy as fudge. So, the way that this transformation works is a little bit weird. But first, let's go ahead and get into ultimate number one again. Because it does change into a burst Kaioken times 10 Kamehameha. I don't even know what you want to call it. Um, it's a skill that I don't really see used too often. But it's pretty badass and pretty sick. And it's like, you know, that second input that you can put on there. It's pretty nice, man. It's pretty nice. So... That's how you do, uh, you know, transformations in terms of the character. I'll show you real quick that the move set actually does change, which again I always appreciate it. Even if it is the base game move set, it feels very authentic, you know, instead of like it being like some like crazy move set or whatever that <laughs> Goku would have in the game. But yeah, it's pretty nice, man. I like it. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get it here. Oh, 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 oh. We got that nice burst. Let's get it. All right, let me see if I can do the two hit. Boom. All right. Five hit combo. Hey, there it is. He's dead. <laughs> we got it. So let's go ahead and move into what's going to be happening next here. So this is how it works. Okay. Like I said, it's a little bit weird. You do have to have your health down to, uh, I don't know if it's danger necessarily. I don't know the exact range for the health. Uh, there are no like directions or anything, but uh, I kind of just figured this out on my own. So basically you get Low health, and what this does, check this out, in 3, 2, 1. Holy crap, that's so sick! Goku goes, it isn't over yet. He heals you, and he transforms you into Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4. And that's the thing, I have to ask y'all, do you think Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 is a type of god key transformation combined with Super Saiyan 4? Like, I don't know, I always kind of saw it that way because, I mean, even though it was Goku and Vegeta and Trunks, uh, I think it was just coincidence that they were in Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God. They had God Key at that time. But, you know, just something about this form just, it, it, it's, it, it radiates God Key. I don't know. That could just be me, but it's Dragon Ball Heroes. It's not canon, so don't, don't think about it too much. But the aura is really solid, just like, you know, your basic aura that you would have for like ultra instinct that's been recolored with a little bit of a super saiyan 4 dark red effect it's really nice and fancy and i love the just animation of it it's so well done and i'll definitely play it without audio at the very end here uh whenever we're done with the you know actual full showcase but yeah man Ogwen came through he did some something that i would have never thought that somebody was going to actually pull off and even though it would have been insane to see goku vegeta uh, God Trunks and Pan as like spirits coming through the idea and concept of this is phenomenal so real quick just to show you guys um, the the version of it with I guess your your cat for example so when they transform obviously they're not gonna go Super Saiyan 4 or whatever but if I get the uh, health down again to danger here you can actually see that unfortunately Goku doesn't actually like come out and, and become your stand that's basically what it is it's a super saiyan blue goku stand but it does at least play the cool animation it still has the same mechanic of healing you and uh i mean it gives you the same transfer this looks kind of cool dude this is like limit breaker god key super saiyan or some shit dude what is this this gotta look cool on uh your boy the xv2 hero ban or bandai or whatever but yeah um phenomenal excellent excellent skill and transformation overall and everything so let's go ahead and get into the moveset again it's just your standard uh super saiyan 4 goku moveset uh it's limit breaker goku so not much is necessary to change with it but uh, i did want to show the uh skills again so the ultimate he goes back to normal kamehameha for some reason uh in terms of super kamehameha i don't know what happened to the burst effect but oh wait no it's it's the it's the absorption one 
<laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, that's why I was like, I was like, maybe because I heard some different sound effects. Okay, so yeah, it actually does become absorption Kamehameha from you know Gogeta, which is pretty cool. So real quick, because I have to do it to him. Powerful, yes. Oh, I love this skill, dude. It's so good. Ah, oh, what a fancy fucker. <laughs> let's go, dude. All right, let's go ahead and try out the Justice Spring Shot. Oh, crap. That actually looks cool, but his tail gets glitched out. So this is from the Limit Breaker Gogeta. Look at it. Look at his tail, bro. <laughs> this dude's tail just came off. I mean, I would rather have at least this than the tails that we got in the base game of the universe. I'm just saying, dude. At least it ain't some squiggly bullshit. It has animations. It might be disconnected, but it's got animations, fam. All right, let's go ahead and try this one out here. We have a Shining Kamehameha. Yes! This one's sick, so... Yeah, it's basically Final Shine and Kamehameha kind of fused together. And it activates and pretty much, uh, you know, emanates this Mountain Dew <laughs> Baja Blast kind of color or whatever. It's it's pretty nice. So, yeah, you can do it charged up and everything. It's it's a sick skill. So, let's look at the Lightning Hammer. Camera angles get a little bit messed up because these are meant for uh, other characters. But you can kind of see... It's just a gut punch, and then you go right there, and look at his tail, dude. Look at his tail going. How many feet off is this? This is like three or four feet off of Goku's actual body. <laughs> oh, no, dude. But, yeah, uh, finish sign, or whatever it's called, lightning hammer uh, from Dragon Ball Fighters. Really cool six skill. It does some decent damage. You know, the good stuff. So, we do have finish sign. Now, this one is the one that you charge it for a level 7. It obviously doesn't do the same thing. Basically, what it's supposed to do is it uh, gives you the times 100 ultimate Big Bang Kamehameha or whatever it's called. But I, I gave him this one because it was way cooler. So, Dragon Flame Strike. Oh, that is so sick. I love this skill. It, wor it actually works very well for uh, Goku in Limit Breaker mode just because of the overall look of it and everything, man. It's... It goes hard. It definitely goes hard. Uh, you know, he's got the Shenron sort of effect at the very uh, back of him. And that's what I love about this mod right now. And, like, the mod build that I went ahead and just put together. Uh, he's got, like, Dragon Shenron Golden Stands as well as Super Saiyan Blue uh, Goku Stands and things. It's it's pretty phenomenal and stuff. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's just, you know, normal Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Goku. That we have seen plenty of times before, but uh, the transformation of it is absolutely phenomenal. Let's go ahead and finish this off with a versus mode. It isn't over yet. All right, my friends, so this might be a little bit hard to pull off, but I'm gonna try everything in my power to get this dude to transform in battle, okay? So I'm gonna use my boy Ban, or the CAC, or whatever it may be. Yeah, we're gonna perfectly block this. Oh, he perfected me. Oh, he did it again. Ah, I'm scared, dude. I'm already terrified. So I gotta do some major damage to him. Uh, I guess I could try to pull off a Dragon Flame Charge. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, dude. You got diggity damp. Oh. All right, powerful. <laughs> All right, I need to finish sign it up, dude. Oh, crap, I'm scared. All right, so finish sign, like I said, it does give you, like, one key bar of, like, energy, if I'm not mistaken. It's a little bit wonky here. Oh, crap. Ah! All right, nice. Okay, so I thought I broke his stand up. <laughs> I said, nice, and it's like, oh, I thought I did it, dude. Well, at least if I do get to a low health, I can transform into my limit breaker Super Saiyan uh, bootleg ass transformation or whatever this is supposed to be that I created. <laughs> oh crap, he did it! Oh my god, how did he do it so quickly? Wait, what? How did he didn't even have low health? That's not fair. That ain't even fair, bro. What? Okay, well, I got what I wanted. This dude perfect blocking me like a motherfucker, dude. Oh my god. He's crazy. He is nutty bears, bro. All right, well, I can't even go for the next transformation on it. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Diggity damn. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. All right, fly on over there. Ah! Oh, crap. Okay, come on. Boom. 
Shiny Kamehameha. Oh, shoot. I don't know how I avoided that, bro. <laughs> what is even happening? I like how I'm doing absolutely no damage. All right. Come on, do it. Oh, my God. How did I not land that shit? This son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually terrified. <laughs> ah! I'll do it to you. <laughs> ah! No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. We're actually... We're doing a decent job so far here. All right, well, his idiot dumbass went from behind here. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, uh. Did he transform again? What is what is homie doing? <laughs> he's transforming multiple times. Oh, he's naked. Wait, what is that? What is that? He's naked. His fur is gone. This is the most cursed Goku I've ever seen. Are you seeing this? Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? He has no fur. I know that didn't really make much sense. I said that he's naked, but he has no fur. He had no... I don't even care. I don't even care anymore, dude. What the actual fudge balls did I just witness? That deserves a like. Y'all better leave a like for cursed, naked... Furless Goku out here, bro. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video Leave a like subscribe ring my notification bell check out uh, all the modders down below and everybody that contributed I'll see you in the next one. Peace <laughs> This is Broly and you are watching slow plays Make sure to subscribe or else I'll destroy your entire planet <laughs>